Oh, welcome back my gardening friends. Just a quick update uh, in the um, grow room. Um, one of the peanut uh, plants is uh, doing quite well. There's a few uh, Catskill uh, Brussels sprouts there that I need to pot on. Now they've got uh, a little bit better. Overwintering tomato challenge. Uh, there's a few things going on. Some of the strawberries look like they may be coming through and uh, quite a few of those. Uh, I've got two of the Agroglan um, plug plant trainers uh, up and running. And they're all, uh, all coded there. And I've just spotted uh, there's a few of the uh, Heinz tomato seeds uh, now taking. I've been spraying um, spraying them with uh, rainwater to try and get rid of those seed pods soften them up the grow room greenhouse grow room is getting a bit busy but there's still uh, plenty of room and uh, uh, lots of things going on and i'm glad that i did hold back on uh, all the uh, the sowings and we've got another cress there uh, to harvest uh, microgreens two more there so basically we used to spend one pound a week on cress for my lunch box so we're saving a pound a week so that's 52 pounds a year and uh, I've been using these seeds now for nearly two years so I can assure you it is well worth it especially using the heat while we're growing all our plants uh, there's lots going on here I'll just let just see the what we have got I'm not going to explain everything uh, I do need to get up to the allotment to uh, get my condor planted and uh, uh, a vegetable harvest so let's get off up the allotment on this cold and frosty morning and as you can see, it's very, very cold for this uh, Easter Sunday. Uh, today is April the 4th or 5th, one of the two. Well, I've managed to get connected up to my tripod and get the microphone in, so that should be a little bit better. But uh, the covers are certainly protected the square foot gardening uh, really well and the seedlings uh, are looking quite good we've got a mixture of lettuce radish and the southern giant uh, curled uh, mustard I'm keeping a close eye on the green manure the field beans uh, any sign of flowering and these will get cut down buried and covered with uh, uh, some compost uh, ready to take the runner beans and peas uh, later on once we're no longer risk of frost which is towards the end of may and even the uh, claret uh, sprouting broccoli doesn't get away with it as you can see there the leaves uh, are uh, frosted i'll be harvesting some of that uh, this morning and even with the uh, netted uh, cover, the uh, frost still gets through. But I've got lots and lots of that to harvest today. This is my permanent potato bed. So these potatoes have been in all winter. And we've still got to harvest the last of the white potatoes here. So I can get my uh, condors in. That's a nice little harvest, so that's uh, straight out the ground as you can see, they've already started to uh, chit and uh, you could literally plant uh, those straight back in the ground, but we've already got plenty. So now I'll just go and get my uh, condor potatoes, which are quite rare at the moment. I've got five, quite expensive to buy, we're not allowed to reproduce them and sell them. Uh, but uh, I will be giving a few away uh, 
in a couple of years time so I'm going to get a little bit of manure put in the bottom so I've used the organic um, manure similar to uh, 6x and uh, I've put some at the bottom put a layer of soil on so that it's not actually touching the uh, tubers I've got two more here so these are condor and the uh, world's biggest potato was grown from these so these are being planted to see if we can get a nice big one for the Malvern show if that goes ahead the other potato has been saved and it's going to go in one of the green cloth bags uh, using my homemade compost so I'm going to use uh, this soil now to cover that soil ensuring there's no more white potatoes left and we'll uh, repeat the process Almost forgetting the log ashes. Oh, that's better. Well, that's all the soil moved over. I'm just going to top dress now with some uh, cocoa koi. This will just help suppress the weeds until they surface, and then we can add more of this cocoa koi as the summer goes on. So, that's all them in now and put to bed nicely uh, very frosty we'll have a little look uh, a little bit later on but for now uh, that's uh, that's sorted and as you can see the uh, marker pens uh, are doing uh, really well they're in uh, they're facing south and still haven't uh, uh, discolored the um, blossom on the plum trees is all out the bees have been loving it and now the frost has probably killed them all but never mind there's always another year this is what actually damages our tender plants when the frost gets on them and then the sun burns it off So let's make up some uh, homemade compost uh, for the condor in the green container, cloth container with the windows. Two shovelfuls of homemade compost, ensuring we uh, remove plastic labels. That's full of worms. Two shovels of uh, three year old wood chips. One shovel of leaf mould rejects, two years old. Two shovelfuls of the can, uh, cannabis compost that's unscrupulously dumped with the uh, added perlite in. Two handfuls of log ashes. These are cl good, clean log ashes from home. So that's that done. And there's the uh, potato veg grow bag that we reviewed earlier. That's in my... Uh, playlist under product uh, reviews as with everything else that uh, I take a little look at so let's get this filled we'll put some goodies in the bottom some uh, bloodfish and bone and uh, chicken manure, manure pellets I want these potatoes to grow really well and I want to try this grow bag out with the windows and the door uh, to take out the small ones and let the big one get bigger and bigger and hopefully burst that uh, container wide open well hopefully not so that's, uh, oh, excuse me guys, that's another good job done. That's the uh, Kaveen uh, potato veg grow bag. And there we have the condor potatoes, 4th of the 4th. So it's the 4th uh, today, uh, Easter Sunday, and it's already cold. So by the time you see this video, the cold spell will be well and truly established. And hopefully everyone can get their plants protected that are tender. This is my worm bin, I compost with worms, so everything gets broken down, but as you can see, because they've uh, not been fed recently, they're all wanting to leave. So my intention is now I've got this little corner done, if I put some fresh vegetables in this corner, all the worms will migrate to there, so establishing uh, a good Con Connolly, uh, nah. you know what I mean, uh, to uh, work on this uh, till uh, this time next year. 
everything does look nice when we get a, a frost but should I have asparagus growing six inches high well there it is most stations that we planted now it realistically it's only its second year so i'm not going to be touching it anyway there's the spares so at least i know both spares are good i'm sure i saw a shoot out that other small pot but it'll be interesting to see but surely we shouldn't be getting asparagus now well let's get some carrots to add to the potatoes and the rest of the today's harvest uh, for shed wars uh, 21 and uh, team will it grow So we've moved over to the parsnips. These haven't been covered because I'm going to be planting this bed up uh, fairly soon. As you can see here, I cut them off in a previous video and uh, they're back with back with a vengeance. Tap root's gone right there. I think I'm gonna need more than that to satisfy Mrs. King's needs. That's just nice. We'll get them cleaned up, see what they look like. These are there just as markers so we can find them. Uh, we've got three parsnips left. So let's get on with the broccoli. I've uh, got the wife's uh, peg holder that she threw out, recycled. So that will keep them uh, reasonably clean and it uh, will keep uh, taking the florets off leaving the ones behind I think you can see that uh, they will get as big as that but you just need to make sure you take out the center the center's gone out of this one and it's through all these out uh, these have had a good watering and I'm going to give them a good feed of uh, comfrey very shortly, probably after this harvest, to give them a, a little boost. See, I nearly went there. If we go there, these two will continue to grow. I've got about 15 plants to harvest. Let's get started. Well, I've got a nice, uh, nice container full. And basically, all we're harvesting is the flowers. So the plant wants to reproduce so it keeps producing more flowers so we'll keep taking them off uh, as long as we can and uh, you'll see what we've got in a minute let's go and get the rest of the sprouts so the sprouts have done really well for me this time so we're going to take out uh, some of these uh, nice grease greasy greeny leaf side shoots We'll try those. That one's going to seed. It's an F1, so it won't uh, it won't actually go to seed. But there's nothing to stop us from taking it. Similar to broccoli, it's trying to uh, reproduce. And we've got uh, on this one. We've got uh, the last few sprouts, which uh, haven't really uh, done a great deal. We'll try and uh, salvage some of these for our Easter dinner they never really come to much at the top still very small a little bit fiddly but considering they're out to the elements uh, they're in a reasonable condition well 
Well, time to get these veggies cleaned and uh, welcome uh, to all my new subscribers. Uh, just over 300 of you uh, who joined me uh, in March. Uh, this is how I clean my vegetables. With a little bit more effort they'll look like Oh, I'm pleased with that and thank goodness for uh, these uh, thermal gloves somebody asked me about the thermal gloves before but uh, I didn't actually purchase these they were found in a skip give them a good wash but by gum keep the old uh, fingers warm so let's get uh, everything weighed so I'm just going to tear that off now Four point seven four three. Yeah, it's still teared. We're at zero there. I'll get this put in a plastic container, and we have point seven seven eight of a kilogram. So my uh, team will it grow veg total? Still got to find a date for the first harvest, but uh, there we have it. So, thumbs up, thumbs down, and uh, leave me a comment, uh, my gardening friends, and uh, future updates on the uh, polytunnel build, my first attempt at uh, green manure, will the asparagus survive, sowing my uh, parsnips, and hopefully they'll look like this, that we sowed in September, and maybe we're very close to halving some uh, spring cabbage. Square foot gardening coal frame working well. And square foot gardening, I'm really happy about. Until next time my friends, ta for now.